what's that? You're using Claude code and you want to know about how to add MCP servers to it. Okay, I got you. Really quick, I'm assuming you already have Claude code installed, but for those that are watching that don't, you can install it via npm, npm install at anthropic AI slash Claude code, and you'll be off and running after you log into your Claude account. All right, so for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using a security MCP server from Sneak that's gonna help me learn of vulnerabilities in my code base for the project that I'm using Claude code in. So first up, I'm using this MCP server locally. So I need to have it running locally in order for Claude code to have access to it. In order for me to run the Sneak MCP server, I need to run the Sneak CLI tool using the Sneak MCP command with the type of SSE and the experimental flag. So once I have that entered in, I can see the server is running at this URL. I'm going to copy this because I need it for setting it up with Claude. All right, since that's running, I'm going to open up a new terminal here. And this is where I'm going to be setting up Claude code to access that MCP server. So in order to do that, I'm going to say Claude MCP add. I'm going to tell it the transport type, which was that SSE. Then I'm going to give it a name and we call it sneak. And then I'm going to paste in that URL from earlier. And I'm going to add slash SSE and hit enter. Now we can see that that SSE MCP server was added to the local config for Claude. And now I can check that by saying Claude MCP list. And we can see that sneak is listed there, that MCP server, and it's at that URL running locally. So the next step from here to try things out is to run Claude and give it a prompt that would involve it triggering and using that MCP server. So let's open up Claude, and then I'm gonna give it the prompt. Please tell me if there are any vulnerabilities found in my open source dependencies for this project. So now it's going off thinking. It's going to figure out if it has any tools available to use to it. It does notice that. It says I can scan your project for vulnerabilities in open source dependencies using Sneak. And in particular, it's going to use this Sneak auth status tool first. So I'm going to tell it to proceed. So it's going to make sure I'm logged into my sneak account. Then it's going to use the sneak SCA test tool, which is stands for software composition analysis, which is going to look at the open source dependencies of the project and test that further. So I'm going to go ahead and let it run that, that tool from the sneak MCP server. All right. It looks like Claude is done looking for vulnerabilities using the sneak MCP server, along with the SCA tool available for that. And it found two vulnerabilities in my dependencies. One, a regular expression denial of service which is a low severity that's introduced via the SQLite 3 dependency chain that we have in this project. And then number two, missing release of resource after effective lifetime. It's a medium severity because of this in-flight dependency. And that's also introduced via the SQLite 3 dependency in here. All right, so that was a quick example of how you can add an MC server that's running locally. But what if you want to add one that's running remotely that you can connect to without having to run it on your local machine? Let me show you. To help us out understanding this, Anthropic has a directory of partners that they've added on this website here that have some remote MCP servers available to us. In particular, we can see partners like Asana, Atlassian, and Canva have these URLs listed down here, like mcpasana.com slash SSE and so forth. Essentially, if you see it end with an SSE, you're gonna add it in the similar way that we added the one that was running locally, but now you use this URL available from that provider. So let's say I wanted to add the Asana one. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to head back over to my terminal and show you exactly how to do it. Say Claude MCP add hyphen hyphen transport. It's going to be SSE. We're going to name it Asana and then we're going to paste in that URL that they gave us. I hit enter and that was added successfully. We can double check that by say MCP lists. Now we can see both the local running one, the sneak one and the remotely running one Asana are available via Claude. So let's say I wanted to add Canva type, which is going to be standard HTTP transport instead of SSE. Let's give that a shot. Head back over to the terminal. I'm going to say Claude MCP add transport is now HTTP. I'm going to call it Canva and then paste in the Canva URL. Double check that MCP list. Then another way to make sure that these are truly working is you actually open up Claude and get it running and it will tell you if there's any issues. Like for instance, in this case, Canva needs authentication. So I need to run the MCP slash MCP command within Claude while it's running in my terminal here for that to actually work as an example. All right, and then for any MCP server that requires you to authenticate with via OAuth, you can do the slash MCP command from within Claude, 
choose, let's say Canva, and then it's gonna prompt you to open up your browser to a specific URL where you'll go through the OAuth flow. You come back to the terminal once that's completed and it'll show you as logged in. I don't have a Canva account to demonstrate that, but you get the idea. Last but not least, if you have a reason why you want to remove an MCP server, there's a remove command that you can use, Claude MCP remove, and then use the name that you gave it. So in this case, I want to remove the Canva one. If you ever forget the name of the MCP server you had, just do Claude MCP list to see all the MCP servers you have previously installed. And that'll give you the name that's available to it. The name is the one that you see on the left before the, the colon there. Last but not least, there are a few other options available to you that you can explore via the help menu, which is super helpful, which is super nice to have because this is how you can learn more about what's available to you for a lot of other CLI tools, but it's nice that Claude does this as well. These details here are specific to the MCP command. We can see a lot of the ones that we've already tried out today, but if you wanted to, there are other ways you can add MCP servers like via a JSON string add an MCP server with a JSON string or if you're using Claude desktop and you've already set up MCP servers there, you can migrate those over into Claude code for the command line via this command as well. Add from Claude code desktop. So there you have it. That's how you add MCP servers to Claude code via the command line. I'm curious, what MCP servers are you using with Claude? Let us know in the comments below. But that does it for this video. If you got value out of it, be sure to like it down below and share it with somebody who could put it to use. And if you made it this far, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and happy, safe coding, everyone.